Hello everyone, welcome to Aryan Tutorials. Here uh, we are going to discuss another example on Varignon's principle. So the example we are considering as two like parallel forces acting on a body as shown in figure as below on AB, straight line is the body on which the two like parallel forces means in same direction two forces are acting on a body that is and F F2 parallel to each other acting upward. So for these two forces, the resultant force acts in between the two forces. I imagine at a point C, the resultant force is acting. So based upon this, we need to generate a formula based upon the uh, variance principle that states uh, the moment of resultant force with respect to any point is equal to the sum of moments of the individual forces about the same point. So for that, I want to assume a point O with respect to which we are going to find out the moments. So again we should know a perpendicular distance from the point to the desired forces for finding the moment. So to F1 I am assuming as D1 and to F2 I am assuming as D2 and to R I am assuming as D as a perpendicular distances. Okay. So according to the statement moment of resultant force should be equal to sum of moment of force F1 and F2. So here the resultant force moment can be written as force into perpendicular distance that is T with respect to O and similarly uh, moment due to equal to so R into D equal to that is uh, moment of resultant force with respect to O equal to moment due to F1 that is minus F1 into D1 here the minus sign we have taken because this uh, force F1 causes the clockwise rotational motion. Okay, so the clockwise rotation we have to consider as negative. Similarly, positive sign that is plus because some we need to consider plus uh, moment due to force F2. So F2 into D2 here the positive sign. We didn't take the negative sign. Why? Because here this F2 causes the anti-clockwise rotational motion with respect to O. So when it is anti-clockwise rotational motion, we have to consider positive. So like this, we can form a formula for the system of two forces acting on a body according to the variance principle. So here again the result and force can be written as sum of these two forces F1 and F2 because both are in same direction and parallel to each other. So sum of these two forces becomes a result and force. So like this we can generate a formula according to the variance principle to find out any unknown element, any one, one of this, in this any particular element is unknown we can use this formula. Uh, element means either may be F1 or F2 or D1 or D2 or D. So all the information is given except to one value. So that one value can be determined by using this variance principle which we face in engineering problems. So I hope you understand this example. In next session we discuss two unlike parallel forces acting on a body for that generating the formula according to the variance principle. So thanks for watching my video. Thank you all. If you have any doubts, please give a comment to my video. I'll try to clarify your doubts. Thank you all.